Welcome to the Panther Lair Show. Chris Peak here on Triple Live Radio. And pit news this week, and again, it's not uh, not necessarily the best news. Rory Blair being charged with a driving under the influence. Oh, about 117 miles an hour and marijuana in the bloodstream. You've read all the uh, juicy details by now. And... Well, here we come again, and, and this is what happens when you have college sports and, and these things kind of bottle up because you've got Tyler Boyd about a month ago with a DUI, and now this news about Rory Blair, and it brings up the idea of a culture problem. Is there a culture? Is there a problem with the culture at Pitt? And you see this anywhere. I mean, you see it at Florida State where there's a couple things happening back to back, and you know, for me, Right off the bat, I'll tell you, no, it's not a culture problem. When you put a hundred college guys together in one subset, of, you know, one group, I am willing to wager that at least two of them will get in trouble every year. It, the culture problem is college, not college athletics. The culture is not the issue here. The big question, the thing we should all be asking and thinking about and talking about here, is what Pat Narduzzi is going to do about it. What he's going to do, how he's going to react to the news about Tyler Boyd and now Rory Blair. Because you know, perception is funny. Pat Narduzzi is known about Rory Blair's run-in with the law for about four months. The news just came out now because he was just charged, but it makes it look, because this news just came out, it makes it look like it's back-to-back Tyler Boyd and then Rory Blair it, all within the, uh, the course of about a month. You know, half the public probably doesn't even realize that Rory Blair's incident with the law happened back in March, but it doesn't matter. It looks like it was back-to-back. So Pat Narduzzi, as he's looking at this, has to decide if perception is important. He's a first-year head coach. Does he need to send a message to the public and to his team? You know, Tyler Boyd was suspended from acti- team activities for a month. Does Narduzzi, though, need to make both guys, Tyler Boyd and Rory Blair, sit out a game? Does he need to suspend them? It doesn't change what happened. It might not change or prevent it from happening again. And to be quite honest, Pat Narduzzi might be perfectly content to just handle it internally, the discipline. You know, might be confident that what he makes Blair and Boyd do behind closed doors will send enough of a message to the public and to his team. But sitting them out for a game looks good, doesn't it? It sends a strong message to everyone that you're going to be tough on discipline. But should that be a factor? Should that be something he considers, the public perception of it all? It's going to be very interesting to see what Pat Narduzzi does here.